I am going back to my roots where my dad taught me how to make Cambodian noodle soup or Cathil Phnom Penh. And now I'm going to show you guys. The broth includes pork neck bone, pork shoulder, and for me, I like to include beef bone marrow and shanks because I can get extra meat off the bone. After 15 minutes or so, skim off all the foamy scum at the top. Some people actually remove all the bones and bring another pot with clean water to boil and then add the hard-boiled bones back in the pot. Here, we're going to add lime leaves, galangal, garlic, and lemongrass. And what I like to say, the essentials in Cambodian cuisine. I found this pre-packed seasoning mix at the 99 Ranch Market, which you can probably find something similar at any Asian supermarket. I need it because I ran out of star anise and saw this instead. It comes with a sachet to keep the herbs and spices in while letting the flavor out. Add palm or rock sugar and one whole onion, which some people grill beforehand. Turn down the heat and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. Here, I'm using a mix of fish and beef tendon balls that are sliced in half beforehand. Dried shrimp that my dad brought back from Cambodia. It's been well over an hour and a half. I like to remove the bone marrow so it won't get lost in the soup. I'm using the three crab brand fish sauce and just eyeballing here. Same with the totoli chicken powder mix. A little bit of MSG. By the way, they're great for enhancing flavors in soup. Meanwhile, stir fry ground pork with oil and garlic in a skillet on medium heat. I like to add chopped onions and dried shrimp as well. Sometimes preserved radish, but I don't have any this time. A little bit of fish sauce and oyster sauce. Stir it until it's cooked and completely dry. Now to make the bowl, start with your dried rice noodle. Boil a pot of water deep enough to seep the noodles in for just half a minute. Add the cooked ground pork on top of the noodles. Adjust your broth by diluting with water or adding sugar or fish sauce to your liking. You can spoil yourself by adding whatever pieces you like from the pot. I've already prepped thinly sliced beef and peeled shrimp on the side while the soup was simmering. And here we are, a nice perfect bowl of Cathil Phnom Penh, which you can also add bean sprouts, herbs, and jalapenos for your toppings. Enjoy the holidays and don't forget to subscribe!